This is Deborah Potter at News Lab, and I'm going to show you how to create a word cloud using a tool that's online, a free tool called Wordle.net. Wordle.net, not .com. And a word cloud is simply an illustration of a block of text. What it does is it creates a, a sort of an image using the words in a block of text, and each word is the size, is represented by the size um, that correlates to how often it's used. So for example, the New York Times created this word cloud from presidential inaugural speeches, and in 2009 President Obama used the word nation more than any other in his speech. It's useful. In this particular case, the New York Times had created a, uh, a sliding timeline to go along with it, so you could actually compare to previous presidents. Here's Bill Clinton, where he talked about the American century many times, and George Bush, who talked about freedom more than any other thing in his inaugural speech in 2005. So you can create this using Wordle. Now you can't make it interactive the way the New York Times did, but you'll be able to at least put a couple of Wordles next to each other, if you want to, for comparison's sake. So here's how it works. It's very simple. You can enter the URL of a blog, if you want to, uh, just to see how it works. And this is my site, newslab.org. When I submit that, it's going to illustrate what I've written about most recently. And you can see that I write about news, about stories, about writing and notes. Um, and that's one way you could illustrate uh, what's coming on the front page of my blog. So you could compare uh, what different news organizations are writing about a particular story, for example, by creating a couple of different word clouds and comparing them. The other thing you can do is you can change the look. So if you didn't like that one, you could change it to look like this, or like this, or like this. Okay. And the other thing you can do when you want to manipulate a word cloud is you can get rid of words that aren't used very often. So you can just right-click and remove it. Very simple. Right-click and remove glancing. So as that happens, the wordle becomes a little more useful. There's less junk in there, if you will. You can also do this, by the way, before you input your text, and I'll give you a specific example of that. So what I'm going to do is create a word cloud uh, that's going to compare or, or show you the most commonly used words in a radio address, a Republican radio address, by Speaker Boehner. So I've highlighted the text. I'm going to copy it, go back to Wordle and to Create, and simply paste it in. And I can quickly create a Wordle showing me the m most commonly used words in that Republican radio address. And for comparison's sake, I'll then go to the White House site, find the same week from the President of the United States, copy that, paste that in, and there's the President's uh, radio address in a Wordle. Again, you can randomize it. You can get rid of little words. And one thing you might want to do, if you paste in a block of text from a speech, is get rid of applause, because it often ends up being the largest thing, and it distracts. But as you can see, now we have a Wordle from the, uh, of the uh, President's speech and a Wordle of the Republican response. Different. Different emphases. They're talking about different things. The President is talking a lot about Congress and the Republicans. The Republicans are talking about jobs, and in particular, the Keystone Project, the, uh, their plan to create jobs by uh, allowing the construction of a pipeline to bring oil from Canada through the United States. So there you have it. Pretty simple. That's how Wordle works. Enjoy.